Kavsir, associated with wisdom. This is a deity who has a very unique creation story, different than almost any other god that we've looked at, for sure. He comes to us from Germanic Norse mythology and is classified as a god and is documented in many versions of the Prosetta or many stanzas of the Prosetta confirm his existence. And what makes him interesting was his creation. He was literally created by both the Asir and the Vanir, who were gods who had gone to war many, many years ago. An interesting part of this mythology is when we talk about the Asir, we are talking about the beings who come from the Taurus star system. And we've documented some of their stars being referenced and deified or venerated here on Earth. And the Vanir in some mythologies are equated to being the Pleiadians, who were known as the Nordic Blues, sometimes called elves or fairies, who exist in other ancient mythologies as well as modern conspiracy theories. These two people had had a, a great war that existed for many years and consumed many other people. And when the war was finally ended, they wanted to cement their peace treaty with an ancient pact that involved them making an alcoholic drink by chewing berries and spitting out the mush into a single vat. And that was left to ferment to make a very powerful alcohol for them to enjoy. But from this particular batch, uh, the fermented liquid became the god Kavsier. And he was the wisest of all beings, perhaps because he was made from so many different teachers contributing. And there was no question for which he did not have an answer. He took up a life of wandering, seeking to dispense his wisdom to all people as he traveled down many roads. But unfortunately for him, he ran into two dark evil dwarves who were called the Deceiver and the Screamer. And they killed him and drained his blood into three containers. And when the dwarves were done with that, they took his blood and mixed it with honey and brewed a special mead of it. And this was called the Mead of Poetry. And anyone who consumed this drink would be imbued with scaldorship and wisdom. And eventually this led to the spread and rise of poetry. So while this deity was not long upon existence, he certainly left a mark not only on his culture, but through the passing on of poetry touching other cultures as well. Thank you again for stopping in Nightworld Chronicles as we investigate some of the connections between different cultures at different timelines in different geographical areas and how they all connect and ultimately bring us to one. Please be sure to like and subscribe and as always please join us again here at Nightworld Chronicles.